Plant Protein Vs. Animal protein, which is truly safe for your nephrons. Many of you might wake up feeling a persistent stiffness in your lower back notice, a strange foam in the toilet bowl, or see puffiness around your ankles that just does not seem to go away. It is incredibly easy to dismiss these symptoms as the standard wear and tear of being over 55. However, these are not just harmless signs of aging. They are often the silent sirens of rising creatinine levels and a struggling GFR. When you sleep, your body processes the proteins from your dinner, and if those proteins are too harsh toxins, accumulate in your blood overnight, putting your kidneys under immense physiological stress. I am Dr. Mathias from Kidney Health 365. A major oversight I see in modern medicine is that patients are often told to simply eat less salt or drink more water while the fundamental source of kidney, stress the type of protein they consume, is ignored. This is a dangerous mistake. A landmark observation of over 2,500 adults revealed that those who relied heavily on certain animal proteins experienced a significant spike in glomerular pressure compared to those who prioritized plant sources. In fact, switching the protein source alone has been shown in some clinical settings to stabilize creatinine by 0.3 to 0.4 milligrams per deciliter potentially buying patients, years of kidney function. If you continue to force your kidneys to process high-stress proteins, you are essentially asking an exhausted filter to work double shifts until it eventually fails. But the good news is that you do not have to stop eating protein entirely to save your GFR. There is a hidden mechanism within your nephrons that reacts very differently depending on where your protein comes from. Understanding this one biological secret can change the way your kidneys filter blood starting with your very next meal. Let us take a deep look at the mechanical reality of how your nephrons actually process these proteins and why the source matters more than the amount. To understand why your choice of protein is a matter of life or death for your kidneys, we must look at the microscopic level of the nephron. Your kidneys contain about one million of these tiny filtering units and their primary job is to clean your blood of waste products. When you consume protein, your body breaks it down into amino acids and the byproduct of this metabolism is nitrogen. This nitrogen is converted into urea and creatinine, which must be squeezed through the delicate membranes of the glomerulus, the cluster of capillaries, at the start of each nephron. The danger for stage 3 patients lies in a phenomenon called glomerular hyperfiltration. Research published in the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology indicates that certain proteins cause the afferent arteriole, the intake pipe to your kidney filter, to dilate significantly. This forces an immense amount of blood into the filter at high pressure. Imagine trying to force thick, muddy water through a coffee filter using a high-pressure fire hose. Eventually, the filter will tear. Over time, this mechanical stress leads to irreversible scarring, lowering your GFR, and raising your creatinine. Furthermore, the metabolism of protein creates an acid load in the body. If your kidneys are already compromised, they struggle to neutralize this acid, leading to a state of chronic metabolic acidosis that further degrades renal tissue. While all protein requires work from the kidneys, the biological response to animal source protein is vastly different from that of plant source protein. Specifically, the high sulfur containing amino acids in red meat and poultry create a much higher acid load, forcing the nephrons to work at a frantic pace to maintain balance. This constant overtime work is what eventually leads to the total exhaustion of your renal filters. To prevent this, we must look closely at the foods that many of us have eaten our entire lives without realizing the pressure they were putting on our internal systems. Let us dive into the uncomfortable truth about animal proteins and how they specifically impact your renal survival. Animal proteins have long been the centerpiece of the American diet because they are complete proteins providing all the essential amino acids our bodies need for muscle maintenance. However, for a stage 3 kidney patient, this efficiency comes with a steep price. The primary concern with animal protein, particularly red meat like beef and pork, is its high potential renal acid load, or PRAL. Unlike plant foods, which tend to be alkaline-forming animal meats are highly acid-forming. When your blood becomes too acidic, 
your kidneys must work harder to excrete that acid which directly contributes to the decline of your GFR. Scientific data from the National Kidney Foundation suggests that red meat is also a significant source of organic phosphorus. Unlike the phosphorus found in plants, animal-based phosphorus is absorbed at a rate of nearly 80 to 100 percent by your intestines. This creates a rapid surge of phosphorus in your blood, which triggers a hormone called F23. Elevated levels of this hormone are strongly linked to heart disease and a faster progression toward kidney failure. While fish and skinless chicken are often considered lighter options, they still contribute to glomerular hyperfiltration. However, fish provides beneficial omega-3 fatty acids, which may offer some anti-inflammatory protection, making it a slightly better choice than red meat, though it still requires careful portion control. The most dangerous animal proteins are actually the processed ones sausages, daily meats, and bacon. These are loaded with sodium and inorganic phosphorus additives, which are even more toxic to your nephrons than the meat itself. These additives bypass your body's natural regulatory systems, and hit your kidneys with a concentrated dose of minerals they simply cannot handle at stage 3. If you continue to rely on these high-acid, high-phosphorus sources, you are essentially accelerating the clock on your kidney health. But before you think you have to give up all your favorite meals, you should know that there is a way to get your protein while actually soothing your kidneys. Let us transition to the remarkable power of plant-based proteins and why they are the preferred fuel for a struggling nephron. When we shift our focus to plant-based proteins, we are introducing a completely different biological environment to our nephrons. For those of you managing stage 3 kidney disease plant proteins like tofu lentils and chickpeas are not just food, they act as a form of therapy for your filtration system. The most significant benefit of plant protein is that it does not trigger the same aggressive hyperfiltration response as animal meat. When you eat soy or beans, the intake pipes to your kidney filters do not dilate excessively, meaning the pressure inside your nephrons remains stable and calm. This single change can significantly slow down the wear and tear on your remaining healthy kidney tissue, effectively giving your kidneys a much-needed rest. A major scientific advantage of plant protein lies in the specific form of phosphorus it contains. In animal products, Phosphorus is organic and absorbed by your body at a rate of nearly 100%. However, in plants, phosphorus is stored as phytate. Humans lack the specific enzyme to fully break down phytate, meaning your body only absorbs about 30 to 50% of the phosphorus found in beans and seeds. This is a massive relief for your kidneys, preventing the mineral buildup that causes vascular calcification. Furthermore, plant proteins are naturally alkaline forming. Instead of creating an acid storm, that your kidneys must neutralize plants, help maintain a balanced EH, reducing the risk of metabolic acidosis, a condition that often accelerates GFR decline. Research published in the American Journal of Kidney Diseases suggests that even a partial shift toward plant proteins can help lower blood urea nitrogen levels and improve overall GFR stability. Additionally, the high fiber content in these foods acts as a secondary waste disposal system. Fiber pulls nitrogen waste into the colon and out of the body through the stool effectively bypassing the kidneys altogether and reducing their workload. This is why a bowl of lentils or a serving of tofu is far more than just a meal. It is a shield for your renal filters. However, as we embrace these natural wonders, we must be careful not to fall into the trap of modern convenience. Not everything labeled plant-based is safe for your nephrons. In fact, some of the most popular items in the grocery store could be doing more harm than good. Let us look at the rising danger of highly processed meat alternatives that might be hiding in your kitchen right now and the hidden chemicals that threaten your kidney stability. As you explore the world of plant proteins, you will inevitably encounter the popular meat alternatives that have taken grocery stores by storm. While these plant-based burgers, sausages, and crumbles are marketed as health foods, they often represent a significant hidden danger for anyone managing stage 3 kidney disease. The problem is that these are ultra-processed products, not whole plants. To make a plant taste and feel like a beef burger manufacturers use heavy processing that strips away the natural benefits of the fiber while adding ingredients that are toxic to your nephrons. The most critical issue is the salt content. 
To achieve a savory flavor, many of these fake meats contain three to four times the amount of sodium found in natural animal protein. This extra salt drives up your blood pressure and forces your kidney filters to work under extreme damaging pressure. Furthermore, a clinical report from the American Journal of Kidney Diseases points out that these products are notorious for using inorganic phosphorus additives. Unlike the natural phosphorus in whole beans, which is only partially absorbed inorganic phosphorus, is absorbed into your blood at a rate of nearly 100%. This can lead to rapid calcification of your blood vessels and a faster decline in your GFER. When you see ingredients like dipotassium phosphate or sodium triple phosphate on a label, your kidneys are essentially under a chemical attack. For seniors, these processed alternatives also often contain high amounts of potassium additives to improve shelf life. If you are not careful, a single plant-based patty could provide half of your daily potassium allowance in one sitting. This is why you must prioritize whole single-ingredient plant proteins like organic tofu tempa or home-cooked lentils. These whole foods provide the kidney protective benefits we discussed without the chemical baggage of processed substitutes. Understanding the difference between a whole plant and a processed substitute is the first step toward true renal protection. But you might be wondering if this means you have to give up your favorite animal proteins forever. The good news is that you do not have to become a strict vegetarian to see a massive improvement in your kidney health. Success lies in a specific balancing act that allows your kidneys to heal while still providing your body with a variety of nutrients. Let us look at the highly effective 70-30 balance strategy that is currently transforming the lives of kidney patients around the world. Transitioning your diet does not mean you have to embrace an all-or-nothing approach. For many seniors in stage 3, the most sustainable and effective way to protect your GFR is through the 70-30 balance strategy. This method involves sourcing 70% of your daily protein from high-quality plant bases like tofu tempeh and leached legumes, while allowing the remaining 30% to come from carefully selected animal sources. By shifting the majority of your intake to plants, you significantly lower the acid load and the phosphorus burden on your nephrons, while still satisfying your body's need for complete amino acid. The primary mechanism behind this strategy is the reduction of metabolic stress. When 70% of your protein is plant-based, the overall pressure within your kidney filters remains low for the majority of the day. This creates a healing window that allows your kidneys to manage the smaller amount of animal protein more efficiently. Scientific guidelines from the International Society of Renal Nutrition and Metabolism suggest that even a moderate reduction in animal protein can slow the progression of chronic kidney disease by lowering the production of uremic toxins. When you do choose that 30% of animal protein, you should prioritize white proteins such as egg whites or cold water fish like salmon, which provide anti-inflammatory omega-3s without the heavy acid load of red meat. To implement this use, the simple hand rule for portion control. Your 30% animal protein serving should be no larger than the palm of your hand once per day. The rest of your meals should feature colorful plant proteins paired with healthy fats like olive oil. This balance ensures you avoid protein energy wasting a common risk where patients lose too much muscle mass while keeping your creatinine levels stable. For a practical recipe variation, Try a lunch consisting of a large chickpea and vegetable salad, and then a dinner featuring a small portion of grilled fish alongside a double serving of steamed green beans. This keeps your taste buds satisfied while giving your nephrons the protection they deserve. By mastering this ratio, you are giving your kidneys the best possible environment to function for the long term. It is about consistency, not perfection. Now that you have the blueprint for your protein intake, it is time to bring all these pieces together so you can start protecting your GFR with your very next meal. Let us look at how you can turn this knowledge into a daily habit that keeps you out of the danger zone. We have journeyed through the complex world of proteins today, and the takeaway is clear your nephrons thrive when you prioritize plant-based sources. We discussed how animal protein can trigger damaging high pressure within your filters, while plant proteins like tofu, and lentils offer a much gentler alkaline-forming alternative. 
by adopting the 70-30 balance strategy and staying away from ultra-processed fake meats, you are giving your kidneys the best chance to stabilize your GFR and lower your creatinine. The time to act is right now. Kidney issues often progress in total silence, and by the time severe symptoms appear, the internal damage may already be difficult to manage. Every meal is a critical decision to either protect your filters or push them closer to exhaustion. Starting today matters because your kidneys do not have a reset button, but they do have a remarkable ability to remain stable if you reduce their daily workload. I want you to feel empowered. Managing stage 3 kidney disease is not about deprivation. It is about choosing better fuel. You are fully capable of improving your health by making these small intentional changes. Your next step is simple for your very Thai P Theo meal. Try replacing a portion of meat with a serving of organic tofu or a bowl of leached beans. Also take a moment to check your pantry for any processed foods containing hidden phosphorus additives. Please remember that this information is for educational purposes only and does not replace professional medical advice. Always consult your nephrologist or a renal dietitian before making significant changes to your protein or potassium intake. If you found this guide helpful, please subscribe to Kidney Health 365 and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a life-saving update. To keep your momentum going, you won't want to miss our next video, Increase GFR Naturally 5 Drinks That Improve Kidney Filtration Better Than Water. Let us keep your kidneys strong and your journey bright.